Sony mirrorless is probably gonna be the better average cost camera. for a camera. Uh, for a Sony, no less than fifteen hundred dollars. So, um, and that's just for the camera body by itself. Then you have to buy the lenses. The lenses are more expensive than the camera. You probably spend um twenty five hundred. Mm. Yeah, on a decent lens. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's worth it because shoot your first shoot, you can make that back. Right. Yeah. We Welcome are we. to Raw Talent. Wow. With your host, Miss Pink. Oh, Welcome to Raw Talent. Wow. Welcome to Raw Talent. Wow. With your host, Miss Pink. Welcome to Raw Talent. Hi. Hello and welcome to the Raw Talent Raw Experience. I'm joined here with Dion. How you doing, Dion? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm doing good. Awesome. So please tell me, who is Dion? Dion is, um, I'm somebody. Uh, <laughs> Threw you off? A little bit. <laughs> uh, well, I have a business called R.I.M. Creations. I have a sub business inside of that business called Aperture Click Photography. So, Art I Am Creations is a graphic design company. So, I do logos, business cards, flyers, things like that, um, party invitations, do the photography for the uh, parties, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, been in business since 2009, um, just starting to really get a, a, a name out there. So, yeah. And you located in Richmond? Uh, Richmond, yes. yes. Born and raised? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what does your business name stand for? You said Art. Art I Am. I, I was am. actually just sitting in my room one day, and um, I was trying to come up with a name because I had I used to do music. Um, my music name was Yours Truly, so I was going with that, and I said, mm, I don't like that. So, um, I thought of a poem in my head. I don't remember the poem. It was so long ago. Um, and it ended with, I Am Art. And I said, hmm. I like that. So I started with that and then I flipped it around and it says Art, um, Art I Am. Oh, okay. So, yeah. That's dope. <clears throat> so, so why music? Why you stopped doing music? Um, well, I do. I still sing in the church, um, but I don't know. I guess I just lost the passion for it. Um, writing. I used to write. I used to produce and all that stuff, but I don't know. I think art is was more your line my, yeah yeah so you found your purpose yeah yeah my, my company dope. was actually founded on the um scripture jeremiah 29 11. um i can't remember it word for word <laughs> but pretty much it's uh pretty much just saying that oops, my apologies god will make a way for you will make he'll make room for you in front of high people pretty much is what the scripture is saying um, so that's what my company was founded on, you know, so. So what is your mission? Uh, my mission is to help business owners grow their business by, because my, my thing is first impressions is everything. So yeah. your logo, if your logo is, is, if you have a decent logo, people will, what your logo says about you will, will say who, how many customers you get pretty much. Right. Um, and I'll just help people grow, you know? Okay. Yeah. So what is the most challenging aspect of working in the field? Getting new clients. Why do you um, think that's challenging? Um, cause there's so much competition out there. Um, there's a lot of people who do what I do. They charge less. Um, I don't want to step on any toes, but <laughs> I know that my work is a lot better than a lot of other people. Right. Um, but, of course, people will go with who's who's costless. Right. So, um, But then they don't get the best quality. Right. So it's like a negative. Right. So, But the, my thing with my company is I like to charge less than what the better people in the city charge, but still at a competitive rate. Right. So I'm not losing money. Right. You still got to make so, your profit. Right. So <clears throat> that's, yeah. So I, I, what I did was I did a lot of research and... Um, and I connected with a lot of different artists that do the same thing I do and saw their price list and all of that. 
and try to make a competitive um, price list for myself. Right. Yeah. I think that's the best way to go. So you're not undercutting yourself. Compete with the competitive pricing. And you can get your name out there at a reasonable rate. You know what I'm saying? Right. So what is your main goal? Uh, my main goal is to one day to actually pass the business down to my son. Um, Narration of wealth. Yes. I know that's my right. My son, um, he's, he's very into art. He's very much into art. My daughter is too. Um, um, so <clears throat> I've started training him on how to do what I do. Um, but my biggest goal is to actually become a millionaire within the next, i say five, five years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if I if my plan goes the way I want it to go, or I think it should go, then I think I can meet that. So how old is your son? He's seventeen. Seventeen. He'll be eighteen in August. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's starting to work already. That's good. Yeah. Some people don't even know what they want to do at seventeen or have a, even the slightest clue. But at least he likes art. He got something he's into. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, some people be like, oh, sports, especially boys. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah. you're kind of lost in that. He's having so all of his friends are rap artists so he wants to be a rap artist oh, Lord. So follow him any of his music yet. <laughs> so, hopefully it's good <laughs> but you can help him with the music and too yeah. fruit of my loins please be good <laughs> <laughs> so when you started did you have the same vision that you have now um no um because when i first started i was just throwing flyers here and there for my church um I actually went to school um, at ECPI for graphic design and web design. Um, but when I first started, yeah, I was just doing flyers here and there for people or for my church and stuff like that. And then once I started to really get into it, then I then I started to shift into making it a business. Right. So, um, yeah, so things are, are a lot different than what they were when I first started. But I think that I like the fact that you didn't give up from 2009 to 2021. That's a long time to to and you're saying like it's starting to pick up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So some people don't have that patience, you know, and they say most small businesses, they find out whether they're going to pass or fail within the first year. So you have held on and you know what I'm saying? So I think that's awesome. So without your degree, do you think you'd be as successful as you are now? Uh think so um because i have a passion for art right like when i first before i started doing graphic design i was drawing and i was painting and stuff like that and the drawing and painting wasn't really making me any money so whenever i would say give somebody a cost of what you know what it'll cost to, for me to do the art form they say oh no that's too much so i said hmm what can i do that i can still do my art but make money right and then um, I don't want to sound like an ECPI commercial, but I was sitting down home <laughs> watching TV. I know that sounds just like <laughs> Yeah. ECPI commercial came on. You friends with Romeo Miller? <laughs> you know, but I, um, but yeah, that's exactly how it happened. I was just sitting at home one day and um, ECPI popped up on the screen. Um, and yeah. You I just said, let me go ahead and go. Yep. yep. How long did it take you to get your degree? Uh, two years. It was a two-year course. Yeah. So you think it helped you perfect your skills, like sharpen your skills? Um, I actually learned how to do graphic design at ECPI. I didn't know how to do that at all. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, before going there, um, I was just drawing and uh and painting at the time. Yeah. I I asked you that question <clears throat> because you know, student loans cost a lot. Yeah, too much. You know, yeah. and sometimes we feel like college is the guaranteed ticket to getting success and some people feel like self-taught is the best way or learning from people around you so that's why i asked you know right. to see whether you felt like you had to lean on your degree versus your own education so nah, nah, i um most of the stuff i know now i learned on my own from either watching other artists or um going to youtube or just playing around with the programs and stuff like that right yeah so um i can say i probably hope this doesn't mess you up but i didn't uh learn too much at ecpi to be honest <laughs> they ain't gonna mess me up i, mean, I, I went know. to attt they uh, ain't even in uh, uh, business uh, no oh, <laughs> 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 like, most, like, most 
of the stuff that I did learn, I learned from other students. Because right. I had all, all of the teachers that they had there were pretty much, um, uh, they were from a different department. So they didn't really know the, what the Graphic they design. So, oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, like I said, most of the stuff I know now, I learned on my own. I mean, you know, because like me, I, I have a degree in criminal justice. Right. My company has nothing to do with criminal justice <laughs> you know what i'm saying and i learned when i was in college because like my older brother he has a degree in criminal justice as well he has a bachelor's i have an associate a lot of jobs i qualify for that he can get you know what i'm saying at the same level so i'm like well why would i pay to go for f two more years when i could stop at two years you know what i'm saying so it's like you know it's like okay i want to continue my education for me learning is fun so that's just what it is, but I felt the same way you did. <laughs> I mean, it is a matter of opinion, but I read a lot, even outside of learning. I just read just for the fun of it. But it's like when you look at things from that perspective, it's like it's other avenues you can take to get it accomplished without having to pay somebody all these hundreds of thousands of dollars and be in debt on top of debt. Right. You know, in the process, I'm not knocking school because I'm for it. But if my son came to me and said. I just want to take a trade or either I just rather learn from you. Yeah. I'll be with it a hundred percent, you yeah, know. That's pretty much what my son is. Yeah. Um, so if you were told you couldn't do graphic designs, what would that statement do to you? Oh man. <laughs> well, I mean it would hurt, but then at the same time I still have my drawing and my painting, so I can still do that. So would you actually stop it or would you like, oh, nah, God. this is my passion, yeah, this is I have to do it. Yeah against the law for me to do it i'd probably break a few laws yeah because it's, it's something that i love doing okay <laughs> yeah so you said you had another um sub company underneath your yes. company i am um, photography so what is that um it's pretty much uh i stopped doing wedding photography I hate, I hate why it's, it's too much dang i was gonna ask you to do my wedding uh, <laughs> oh god he <laughs> said oh man <laughs> why is weddings too much i've done two well the first one i did I was you did actually, two and gave up yes it, yes wow i was actually in the first one i did because the photographer they had um took their money and ran oh yeah so i had to actually whenever i wasn't in the shot i had to take all the pictures and then i had somebody else take um take my camera Cause he asked some guy from the church to take one. They had a little small Kodak. And I was like, no, man. So I gave him my camera. Um, but yeah, it was just a lot. And it was all over the place. And I was by myself that first one. But I brought an assistant the second one. And still was a lot. So you have a team that works with you? Um, no. Um, whenever I do, I have a big job. I will call somebody, see if they want the job. But I don't actually have somebody on staff. No. Right. So it's just me. But you gonna get there though. Yeah. Yes. That's the that's the goal. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So why was why is the wedding a headache? <laughs> the bride, mainly. What? Yes. Have you seen Bridezilla? Yes, yeah. I've seen Bridezilla. That's a real thing. That's a real thing. <laughs> but I mean you're taking pictures though, so you're capturing all the moments. How yeah. much direction is she giving you? Too much. Yeah. So you just do like birthday parties and birthday parties, stuff like that. Um, just, regular photo shoot. just because it's challenging, I mean, you shouldn't try it. No, I do it. I just, I've done it. I just no. So if somebody calls you to do their wedding, you turn it down. Sure <laughs> so I'm gonna call you. <laughs> <laughs> that look was like just try somebody else. <laughs> what if I'm not a Brazilian though? I mean, I mean, I guess I would do it for you. Cause <laughs> I appreciate the consideration. I really do. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> so, is photography a part of your passion, or is it just something that it has you added recently? Become a passion. Um, I started photography probably about four years ago, so I haven't been doing that that long. Um, well, no, it's about five years ago. Yeah, about five years ago is when I started. Um, so I'm still learning. Um, I've had a few clients, and that one's actually a, a bit of a challenge, um, too. Pretty much the same reason, because there's a lot of people doing photography. Um, a lot 
lot of people in the city doing photography is not charging a lot of money for it. Um, and um, learning how to how to charge for photography is like right. a, a hard thing too. Right. So. So what about videography? Do you do that as well? Do not. I do want to get into it though. Um, I want to. It's a lot of money in that field too. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah it's a lot of money in that. Just, uh, well, he didn't just start, but yeah, he's been doing a lot. So I say, yeah, I'm definitely gonna. Okay. Yeah. Tap into some avenues. Yeah. So you do graphic designs. Do you print shirts? I don't print them, no. But I'm going to try to start soon, hopefully. Okay. Yeah. Building that resume right on up. Oh, sure. <clears throat> All righty. Well, if anybody wanted to get in contact with you, you know, for the non-wedding events and et cetera, <laughs> where would they find you? I am on uh, it's, uh, Instagram. Or, um, what is it? Aperture Click. Aperture is A P E R. How do you spell aperture? Oh, T U R E. <laughs> and click the word click photography at, at um, Instagram. And then also my email is the same. And that's that. So why aperture click though? Aperture is a feature on the camera. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Nice. I, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, okay. You learn something new every day. But <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, thank you for coming. And sure. we're gonna have you again once that bill you reach the billionaire status. Sure. We're gonna have you again. Sure. All right. <laughs> Tink did not come to play with you hoes. I came to slay, bitch. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go.